Boston Police is dealing with multiple things going on at the same time. A um, whole lot of stuff going on. So we'll see what's... Except, uh, except that I don't... All right. Good, not too bad. Okay. This one here looked like a serious uh, shooting. Possible possible uh, well it, this may be a homicide we're not sure yet but looks like the individual was taken out in critical condition and this is just maybe an hour or two after we just cleared Dudley Street And break base operation. Break base. That arm robbery, we have nothing showing. Okay, nothing showing. Lima 101. 101. Can you, uh, when are you going on District 150 Columbia Road? Uh, the call is that there's uh, someone with an arrow that's out front, black male 21. One on, we have it. Charlie, off eighty one. Can we have a detective bring an evidence bag inside the uh, food shop here? Not too sure what took place, but um, Dudley and Howard, they're complaining about a black SUV that's driving around circling the area. So instead of speeding, but things are running those unknown tags.
Bravo 457 for depot. And some at the same time, this is going on. Bravo got, um, got something going on the B two B three side. Allegedly, some kind of armed robbery over in the Mattapan Square area. Not too sure of all the details on that one. And shortly before that, there was another armed robbery at the um, the Burger King over there, Cummins Highway. So you got quite a few things going on. Sure if it took place inside of this building right here, this house. It may, it may have taken place inside. Um, we'll just stand by for all the details. It sounds like it took place inside the, of, of the unit itself. Tango, go for it. If you would, please. 1910 Fenway Park area, please. Park area, sir. Good evening. Mm -hmm. Limo 101. You know, you know, you I'm showing. I get a call back. So he's gonna push the crime scene back about 50 feet, which I understand. Yeah, I heard him. <laughs> right here. Right here. Right here. Okay. I keep back up until you tell me to stop. <laughs> okay, cool. I appreciate that. Get established the line. Always respect the crime scene line. Yeah, the writing is a uh, black sweater with some white words that says black lives matter. Yeah, right, so they establish here. Uh, and they usually do this because they, they want a buffer zone. They, they want to um, give more area. Like I sure, I'm not sure of all the details on this, but uh, allegedly, individual was taken to the hospital in, in serious condition. Um, they did notify the homicide detective, so we're not sure if it's a homicide yet. But they have been notified. 
Those guys in suit jackets, those are homicide detectives, just so you guys know. took place apparently took place inside of that apartment building right there or I should say house so they're gonna be entering that building to gather some evidence I believe this is Virginia Street if I'm not mistaken I'm pretty sure this is Virginia Street Across so I can get a different angle. This may take some time to gather the evidence. I, they say it's quite, um, quite a crime scene. So, and like I said, I'm too sure exactly what took place. I'm still waiting for more information to come through. So this is a group house. I think this is a group home over here to my left. Some kind of group home. Um, just based on the foot traffic going in and out, it has to be some kind of group home or something like that. Uh, some of my viewers probably know exactly what that is. But it's, it's some kind of group home because there's multiple people going in and out of there. There's something going on in the back too. If you guys can see it, they're taking pictures in the back down here. Somewhere up in here.
What's going on there? All right. If you got there like ten minutes earlier, you would have been close. Yeah. 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 The, 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 um, they moved the crime scene back about fifty feet. Clean up. There's a lot of car debris on the on the road. And just let the motorcycle units know that there's a bunch of sand at this intersection as well.
plug 21. I think it's going to be hit line, but I know the uh, I'm going to talk to the restaurant owner. But it's going to be Aguadilla at Tremont. It's going to be minor injuries. Aguadilla and Tremont, minor injuries. Seventeen, nineteen X. Try that one more time. Five, seventeen, nineteen X. Going into Tremont Street now. Slow down. Charlie, 16. Good. Sir, can I get an eye level for 1643? Pull up. That is going to be 212-073-783.
So they're going to be out here for a little while gathering evidence. Um, there's a lot going on over there. I don't get channel seven to get. Oh, whatever seven don't get, I'll get. Channel seven's right on my um. Right on my left, right here. Charlie 421, Charlie Robert. Alright guys, um, if anything else comes up, I'll uh, get back to you. So right now they're going to be doing a thorough investigation of this um, house right here. Not too sure what took place there, but apparently someone was very seriously injured. It looks like life-threatening injuries. So we're not too sure of the condition of the person who was rushed to the hospital. Um, more details to follow. Um, we're going to be out here for a while conducting an investigation. From what I understand, you got um, 
multiple detectives from the homicide division over there. So, see what they have going on. If anything else comes up. Alright guys, anything else come up, we'll let you know. Call back to the uh, third party call and see if she has their address for it. We spoke to your residents here and uh, no one seems to know what's going on. Yep, that's what I've been doing this whole time. Okay, thank you, sir. From that address, now she's um, backtracking saying that this daughter, her daughter is uh, fine. And she's not even there, but she confirmed the address, confirmed the apartment number, and she said that's where she lives.